Welcome, Sagittarians, to your monthly reading for the month of August, where we have been looking at chakras each of the month, all the way starting from the beginning in January. Last month, we finished up with the crown chakra, which is the last of like the most known, well-known uh, chakras. This month, we're moving into the earth star chakra, which is the chakra that is like six inches beneath our feet. And because of that, it aligns us with the heart of Mother Earth. It's very grounding, of course. It's very supporting energy. And it's like we're being held on our journey. So, of course, this energy, this chakra, is the one that anchors us, anchors our light, anchors our soul deeply into, you know, planet Earth. So, for this month, that energy, we're going to be focusing then just asking where can we use more support, more grounding and being held in our lives. So we'll start off here. And if you're new to my channel, what I do each month is I take a tarot deck and I split out the major arcana from the four suits of the minor arcana. And this month I'm going to be using the tarot of the magical forest and any of the cards I use in a reading I do list in the description box below. So if you're interested in any of those, you know where you can get them as well. So we'll start off both of these decks. This is the Ancestral Path Tarot and, like I said, the Tarot of the Magical Forest. These represent the overall energies for the month, what the Creator wants you to know about the overall energy for the month regarding where they feel you can be more grounded or held or have that support. So we'll start off here, pulling here. So for all of our Sagittarians, okay, you have that one there. And then also for the ancestral path, these a quick shuffle, and one more time. All right, so for our Sagittarians, okay, that one right there. Let's get these out of the way, and we'll start with this big one here. And you've got the lovers card. So you definitely have emotional choices that are coming in for the month of August. And really, it's like every moment you have a choice between unconditional love of the higher realm or of the fear of losing conditional love in the physical world, that human connection. So you do have that coming up. Let's see what else we have here, too. Yeah, and you have the hanged man. So this is all about seeing things from a higher perspective, a new perspective. So you do have this clarity that's coming in, um, which I really feel like this is going to be a grounding energy for you. This is what is going to make you feel nurtured and make you feel that divine mother connection uh, for the month of August, because you are seeing things in a different way uh, before we're aware of unconditional love, you know, that that even exists are we're kind of sucked out into the chaos and the storm of that fear of losing conditional love. We feel like that's my only choice is to feel this way. Well, this awareness of a different choice is coming in for you, which is pretty awesome, right? It's pretty uh, life changing. We, of course, will dig in deeper here in the four suits of the minor arcana. Those basically represent four different areas of our life, of our human experience. And we'll start off with the fire element, which is the suit of wands. And basically, it's normally represents like your drive, your ambition, your aha inspiration, your passion, represents your energy and also spiritual energy. So we'll be looking at what is your energetic experience during the month of August. So for all of our Sagittarians, which this is your energy, you're the fire element. So this is not anything new for you. <laughs> and of course, you are hit with a bunch of energy. The Eight of Wands is all about extreme energy coming in fast and furious for you. And also it represents messages coming in, spiritual messages coming in from spirit. So you will be getting a lot of communication 
coming in from the spiritual world during this time, which makes sense as you're connecting to this higher perspective, seeing things from a different, um, you know, totally different perspective from the perspective of unconditional love. You are getting this amazing energy that's coming back into you because of that. So you definitely have passions coming in. And I mean, uh, this is a general reading, uh, but obviously you have all this passionate energy coming in, lovers coming in. So if it is, if you are in a relationship where you're single and you were looking for relationships, you might have this opportunity coming in where love is being expressed in an extreme way, but it's in a whole different way. It's like you're moving your passions to a new level. Whereas before, like if you were in a relationship and things have gone dead, <laughs> numb, boring <laughs> whatever it might be this is about it's being reactivated you're having this new choice this new perspective that's really bringing that in for you or it could mean that you're moving away out of a relationship into something else but it has to do with this inner love so whether it's being expressed in humans on the outside it all starts with this inner movement that's going on and we're also going to get clarification here through the starseed oracle see this they want to add to this energetic experience but you definitely have this fiery sagittarian spark <laughs> that's going on which is your norm right it almost can feel like if you suppressed yourself for a while you're allowing yourself to express it again and and i kind of have this thing in your mind where you know, if you are wild and crazy and fun and excited and humorous and, and you get in a relationship with someone who is like, you need to bring that down from a, a 10 that is your norm down to a 1. And you're like, well, because you want that love, you dial it down. But you can only do that for so long before you burst because that's just you Sagittarians, <laughs> which we don't want you to not be that. You bring in so much joy and bright and sun, you know, and passion into the world. We want that, right? Even though one person may not have wanted that, right? Actually, you get two cards, so uh, yeah. <laughs> So you've got the seven star sisters, birthing creations, tapestry of life, expression. So exactly as I was saying, it's like expressing yourself. I have that Mandana song. Express yourself, don't repress yourself, right? And then you have empathic star seed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. Yes, definitely. So these are basically the two things that I was basically talking about here. You're um repressing your energy and you're and you're ready to express that now thankfully we're, we're glad that you're doing that so even if someone specifically isn't glad too bad we are glad <laughs> there are new creations that want to be born beauty that's yearning to be woven new consciousness that's longing to be breathed into life like this higher perspective. If you draw this card, you're being called to surrender to these creations, to usher in a new era of consciousness and do your bit in weaving the web of life, not the web of existence, life. We need your life to be breathed again. So this is the card of the artist and the midwife. You're being called to ponder question. Uh, questions what wants to be birthed through you what new creations are whispering in your ear what beauty are you being called to make creativity and intuition come from the same sacred place they occur when we find ourselves flowing with the rest of life Earth is renowned as a planet of manifestation and creativity and yet so many of us have forgotten how to create Somewhere along the way, we stopped seeing ourselves as artists, as creative, as poets. Yet, to be human is to be creative. Creativity is part of your true nature. Perhaps you're being called to surrender to a creative project, such as a new business or a book. Or perhaps you're being called to weave beauty in your home or in the way you cook. Regardless of the end result, you're being called to express yourself through your creativity, to surrender to the creative projects that both scare and excite you, to find a way to weave beauty back into everyday life. 
for where there's creativity, spirit and soul are present. And the world needs those qualities more now than ever before. <laughs> exactly. And the little starseed soul inquiry question is, what new creations are you being called to birth? So, yeah, definitely. Um, like I said, we need that. We need your energy to do that. And then you have the empathic starseed here, which basically says you're here to shift the world through your physical presence alone. You don't need to do anything beyond being here thanks to the energetic change that your physical presence causes. But due to your highly sensitive nature, uh, you can struggle with being on earth and in a physical body. And many of you are prone to addiction and depression or tend to mistake other people's feelings and moods for your own. I feel like that's more your, your side of things. Uh, you're a natural introvert, but you tend to prefer spending time alone or in small groups. Crowds can overwhelm you sometimes. So, and that, I kind of feel like even though you're a, if you're looking at this being a Sagittarius sun, you probably have a, wa a lot of water element in your birth chart. If you haven't checked that out, go to some places like there's like astro.com and different places where you can pull a chart. Don't really look into that because I feel like you have this duality that's going on. You love to be alone, but you also love to express your energy. And so you have this tug war that's going on inside you. Uh, when this card appears, consider lightening the load energetically. Don't put yourself under pressure to go out into the world. Be gentle with yourself. Allow extra time and care to recover energetically. If you're feeling pressure to keep up a certain pace, uh, instead, put on the brakes and treat yourself like a precious baby. Do whatever you can to take the pressures of the world off your plate. Switch off to the switch. Oh, sorry. Switch off to switch back on. In today's world, it's normal to feel that we should be doing more, but perhaps being present in our life is enough. And this could be a phase you're going through, or simply how you're being called to live your life. If your work involves giving to others, right now you're being called to keep something for yourself. You don't need to transmute it all. It's okay to look after your own growth and healing before feeling you should offer it to the world. Indeed, it's necessary if you want to continue to do so sustainably. And this one, the Starseed Soul Inquiry question for this one is, how can you take better care of yourself energetically? So I know, like I said, it feels like this tug of war that's going on in between you because you are drawn to the outside world to share this love, to share your energy with it. But it feels like you have been drawn in, into this energy that's not yours and this a lot of beliefs, a lot of restriction, a lot of suppression of it. But it's basically telling you it's time for you to regenerate, re-get that energy back because we want you to express it in your own unique way, not in this way that you felt you had to before. So we'll get more clarity on this too as we move into this earth element, which is the pentacle suit, where this is your inner energy and we talk about your emotions and your mind here in a moment. This is the only one that's about the outside world. And so this is all about the characters that are on stage with you your, all the props in your life, like your body, your possessions, your bank account, all that stuff in the outside world that's going on. So this would be what the creator wants all of you Sagittarians to know about your physical adventure during the month of August. That one came out right away. Yep, and you have the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this is the Codependency Awareness card, the Giving and Receiving Awareness. And you definitely have this movement and how you're perceiving things and thinking things. And I really feel this goes so well with what you're talking about, like where you've, you've given up so much of yourself for others that you feel exhausted, even resentful. And it's time for you to regain this back and realize that you don't need to be this barrel where everyone sucks your life force out of you without you feeling full and whole and complete. But it's about you realizing that you are a chalice, you are a cup, and that you deserve to have that unconditional love from above 
come in and fill you up and once you're full full then it overflows out to the world and that's what other people get and so this definitely is this uh, understanding of your giving and receiving kind of um, interactions and that you get to have that change you get to be selfish <laughs> you get to fill up first because the greatest gift that you can give the world is a healthy and full you we're going to pull from the spirit of the animals oracle and see what else the creator wants you to know about your physical adventure actually they want that one right there so we will just go ahead and go into that one let's see what you have here you've got the puffin partnership again <laughs> lovers partners so you definitely for some of you this does have to do with your interactions with uh, a loved one it doesn't have to necessarily be romantic it can be family friends work school whatever but um <laughs> says accept yourself and your colorful personality feel confident about being you you are a joy bringer let your community nourish and protect you ask for help teamwork will give you the best results so definitely though this is about you being full and complete and as exactly as i was saying before this is about you being you not suppressing yourself right let's see what else the puffin has to say <laughs> this is just i love the synchronicity of all these cards it says Puff puffins live in extremes of cold and seasonal darkness they mate for life and their love keeps them warm puffins with their natural tuxedos are dressed up in black and white with just a touch of color they have a big attitude and are very expressive puffins are caring and thoughtful parents and when they leave their young to go to sea they leave their offspring with relatives for safety Puffins are clumsy creatures on land, but are incredible dancers in the sea. They belong to the water. Their lives are long, loving, and never lonely. Puffin people share their, um, uh, these amazing qualities. They are fun, colorful, hardworking, loving, and full of contrasts. They like to dress up and strut their stuff. And puffin people can see the best qualities and beauty in everyone and never focus on their foibles. If puffin is your totem, the desire for a lifelong mate will be strong, which is kind of coming through here. Partnership is important to you. Cooperation to care for the young is a dominant point of focus. Warm, compassionate, I'm sorry, warm companionship is your aim so remember to nurture your relationships. <laughs> so yeah, definitely there is this relationship uh, message coming through here with this as well. They do give you four areas of questions or comments, whatever one of these resonate with you. Number one is, are you waddling around? Regain elegance in a salt bath or relax by the sea. Number two, have you lost contact with your home and family? Reconnect. Number three, are you sensitive about your appearance and not focused on just how fun, beautiful, and deserving you are? And number four, avoid self-criticism. Believe in yourself. <laughs> yes. So a couple messages, of course, that are coming in here for you that are being re reiterated over and over again. We will move into the mental aspect of your adventure through the air element, which is the sword suit. This is your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindsets, your attitudes, your expectations, your mental adventure for the month of August. So, Creator, what is your, what would you like them to know about their mental adventure? Okay, that came out right away. Yep, Ace of Swords new thoughts new beliefs new communications coming in <laughs> so more about communication coming in and the ace of swords allows you to connect to the capital t truths of the higher realm so this new perspective definitely is being mentioned here but it also allows you to cut away those thoughts and those beliefs that no longer serve you those small t truths of fear of the human side so i feel like that is what has been restricting you you know thoughts and beliefs that other people have 
have said about you that you took on as your core thoughts and beliefs, but you're ready to move beyond that. Um, Cause we're also going to pull from these numerology guidance cards. See what else they want you to know about this, but that is definitely right in alignment there. You are ready for this. It's a gift from the heavens. I mean, this seeing things from a higher perspective, these are so in alignment with each other. So what else for our Sagittarians for their mental adventure, please? Okay. So that one right there. And you've got, <laughs> well, domestic harmony. Hmm. Yep, definitely there's this change. And 46, when you add 6 and 4 together, is 10, which is endings. Add 1 plus 0 to 1, you get back to 1 here for the new beginning. So you definitely have this change coming in your domestic relationships. <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> So this card, uh, sorry, this card indicates a time of healing your relationships and your home. This may relate to a troubled relationship with a child, a family member, an ex or current partner, house guest or roommate. If uh, it could even relate to problems you've had with the actual house itself. Either way, this card has been sent to advise you that your difficulties are being resolved and domestic happiness is within reach. And that's definitely with seeing things from a new perspective, a higher perspective, from unconditional love instead of from fear. And this card can indicate a time to make a commitment to your present relationship by declaring your love and desire to take things to the next level. And I talked about that, about taking things to a new level. It can also reveal a need to commit to your present residence by extending your lease, deciding not to sell, or making the necessary improvements to turn it into your perfect home. Regardless, this card encouraging you to make a commitment rather than walk away. Well, there you go. Remember, there is no such thing as a perfect relationship, family, or home. Domestic harmony can only be achieved with effort, compassion, and compromise. By improving your relationships and your home, you will improve your quality of life. <laughs> so, all right. Well, there you go. <laughs> what can you add to that, right? And then we do move into your final suit, which is the suit of cups, which is emotions. And we will see what the Creator and Spirit wants you to know about your emotional adventure during the month of August, which I think we have a pretty clear <laughs> messages that are going here is not taking on uh, other people's emotions as your own, as your own responsibility, even though, yes, you can influence others to make it an easier or a harder choice for them to choose unconditional love. But this is about you, about your inner work, about your impact, not allowing others to influence your energy, about you being you. Because I really feel like when you get into friendships, relationships, whatever, we tend to switch who we are because we are thinking we're changing to be what other people want us to be. But we forget they were attracted to us when we were being who we were. We change and then their viewpoint of us changes because we've changed. Go back to being that amazing, beautiful you. Your authentic you is really what I fear. I mean, not fear, what I feel. Do not fear. <laughs> All right, so for our Sagittarians, what do you want them to know about their emotional adventure, please? Okay. Okay. These three. So your first card is the two of cups. Okay. Yeah. So it's definitely about partnerships. You know, uh, an amazing thing about this too is that, um, you know, it is about connecting to your higher love, realizing, you know, this is the emotional choice card. It's the partnership card. I mean, and you have it all over the place here. So, I mean, this, is, this represents the chalice. This represents you filling up with the love inside you and allowing it to overflow them. Not depending on your partner for your love. It's not a half of a person plus a half of a person equals a whole person. It's a whole person in a relationship with another whole person. And then that just magnifies the love between you. But you start off finding your love within yourself. 
And then you have the Knight <laughs> of Cups, which is all about movement and emotions, romance. Uh, but they are the Knight. All knights go on a quest, and the Knight of Cups is in the quest for the Holy Grail, for the Chalice, which is the love that is fulfilling, which is the love from above. You start off finding that love, like I said, this quest for love um, is what this energy is, and you're finding it within yourself. Then you fill up, and then you overflow. Yeah. Because here's the Eight of Cups. You are leaving behind those emotions that no longer fulfilled you and moving into a new level of love, which the Nine of Cups, which comes after this, is what you're headed off toward, which is all about your wish fulfillment, your emotional fulfillment from within. And that's where you're headed off here for is this journey is taking you because those other cups, the cups that you had before didn't fulfill you. Um, you are ready for this next level. You're ready to move into to this next level. And then we're going to pull from this high vibe deck. And this being the last Oracle card for your reading, it can represent more about your emotional adventure, but it's also going to be a wild card. And it could be whatever else the creator wants you to know about your month of August. Let's get this a shuffle here. So what else? What's your final oracle message here for okay, our Sagittarian? So I've got a, a couple here, a few. So you got humanity, which says step away from electronics. No cell phone, no video games, no nothing. Just be human. So I kind of feel like that with this um, relationship kind of message coming in here. It is about paying attention, spending time away from all that stuff, because that's just cluttering your mind, telling you all these supposed to be's and should be's and need to be's, and drawing you away from finding this love um, within you. And get away from dating apps. <laughs> Sleep. Think of sleep as a way to reset your energy and restore your body. Every day is a new energetic day. Ask yourself, what if I slept like a baby and awoke refreshed? So definitely making sure you're taking time to nourish yourself because a cranky you is not a loving you. <laughs> and your last card is high vibe attractions. Attract high vibrations to yourself. Run around the house excited about life. Doing so puts the law of attraction in play. When you want something good to happen to you, moping around the house and complaining will not get you closer. Guaranteed. <laughs> get excited about something. Pretend to be excited about something. This raises your vibration, makes you feel good inside, and naturally attack. I'm sorry, attracts other high vibe energies so definitely when you're seeing things from this higher perspective connecting to this higher love it changes everything because unconditional love is the highest love vibration the um, conditional love that we have in the human world that's rooted in fear is still love vibration it's just a low love vibration and that's not what brings you that wholeness and that completeness right and then your final cards we're going to pull here from the Whispering Woods deck. And these are just the final messages that Creator and Spirit have for all you Sagittarians for the month of August. So, okay, I do want that one. What else? What else? Anything else? Okay, there we go. So you do have four. Your first one is Hope which says an idea like a single acorn can start a wondrous forest. So I really like this energy. It's like focusing in on, actually, I want to put this one over here with this high vibe. It's like when you focus on the negative, when you focus on what's going wrong, that's what expands and grows. But when you have hope, when you put your faith and trust and purposely raise your vibration of that of unconditional love and joy and peace and laughter, that's what expands for you. And I really feel like that's uh, the, the huge message for you here. It cleanse. 
So wash your weary spirit clean and take a walk in the wooded glades. Yeah, on purpose, for a purpose. Change your vibration. Again, getting away from that suppression, that negativity, that, that um, feeling. I kind of feel like um, we want to do that over here. Get out into nature. Get out into nature. Yep. So you have a change. Definitely a change of your viewpoint. Falling leaves do not signify the end, but the beginning of a fruitful season. So yeah, and this is coming up here, not to give up on the relationship that you're in, that it's the change of perspective that's going to change and take you to that next level in that relationship. You're just going to have to start over again. You know, I really feel like it's this message. And this is a general reading, of course, so take it how it resonates. But wherever you go, there you are. So if you're like, you know what? I keep going from job, job, to job, and job, and I keep having these same type of experiences. These businesses, I don't know what they're doing. Or I go from this relationship to this relationship to this relationship, and it keeps ending the same way. I can't believe I keep getting in a relationship with these same people. And it's like... You know, there's one common denominator in all that. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> and it's a mirror. It's just that everywhere you go are mirrors. And so if you keep seeing the same thing, it's because everyone, every situation keeps reflecting back to us what we've wanted to see about ourselves until we see it. So it's not a diss on you because we all go through this. All relationships, everyone we come across is a mirror for us always showing us what we want to see and then once you see it and you are able to make this change this new perspective it is life-changing for you because yeah, here's the wish card make a wish with a dandelion in the wind so what is it that you want out of a relationship what do you want from someone else be that right be the change you want to see in your relationship and there we go <laughs> and they said period <laughs> Okay, and there we have it. So I love this for you. It is a funny, life-changing uh, message, though, because you, I mean, partnership in this um, love, finding the love that you've been questioning for all along will massively change any relationship that you're in. So I love this for you, Sagittarians. If you are looking for more messages of love from above, in addition to these monthly readings by each zodiac sign, I also put out weekly energy updates for each zodiac sign and a few other types of videos throughout the month. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those and be notified immediately when they become available, if you give this video a little thumbs up and click the like button, also click the subscribe button and that gives you access to the notification bell. And when you go in there, if you select the all option, then you'll be notified of any new videos that come out on this channel. And also doing those things help spread the love. It helps my channel grow in significant ways. Because when you like a video, you share a video, subscribe to the channel or comment on the video, doing any of those things makes the YouTube algorithm so giddy happy and wants to share the videos of my channel with other people as well. So if you feel inspired to do any of those things, I'm of course very, very grateful for it. Also, those things are all free, which is very convenient. <laughs> now these readings, like I mentioned, are general readings. If you're looking for even more specific information and answers for your specific life, I do offer personal readings at a reasonable rate and all that information is listed in the description box below. Right, mighty, vibrant, sunny, joyful Sagittarians. Please know as you go out throughout this amazing month that everything, every day, you are unconditionally loved by the creator of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing month. I'll be talking with you very soon. And in the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.